Oh, hey. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here because I wanted to talk about some big changes that are coming to Google and YouTube. And I think that they're things that are going to have a major impact on people who choose to create content. I think they're often called content creators. I think I might actually be one of them. And I also, I'm not sure what's going on with the camera. I know the, uh, the settings are all the same as normal, but somehow I'm blue and red. It could have something to do with the lighting. I don't know. But uh, everything is kind of the same as it normally is. I don't know. Big changes are coming, just like the colors on this channel are always changing. Anyway, we can talk more about that in just a second, so stick around. Sorry, that, uh, huh. I had two cups up here. Two cups. One of them was the cup that I brought up here, and one was a cup that I forgot up here from the last time I did a video. And, man, you guys didn't warn me. That's that, uh, oh my gosh, that smelled terrible. You know, normally the coffee tastes and smells great, but oh my goodness, what a mistake uh, to put that up to my face. That, that did, however, wake me up just as well as a cup of coffee would do. So I'll, uh, I'll be grateful for that. Um, I'm not going to be grateful. That was terrible. Anyway, so there's, there's some big changes coming along. Now, what might those changes be? Well, apparently YouTube has seen how much damage they have caused to the, the networks, the television people, and now they're coming in for the kill. They would like to take over the living room. They want to make their emphasis, their focus, the television in your living room so that when your family sits down in front of the glowing, well, it used to be a box. Now it's more of just like a, a rectangle thing. When they sit down in front of the warm glow of the television at night for that uh, quality family television time, that rather than choosing something like ABC or NBC or CBS, or if you are of the cable variety, that you will instead choose YouTube as your, uh, your, I guess, entertainment over your TV dinners. You know, just like in the, the old pictures you see in the advertisements, people have their little TV dinner trays and they're all happy to eat their uh, microwaved meals, I guess, and, um, and watch YouTube instead of the three networks or cable television, because that's exactly what people want to do. At least that's what, uh, what YouTube is hoping, and maybe they're correct. I have not watched any of the networks outside of the news for quite a long time. And I don't think that I will. I don't even know what, what current shows are on or any of that stuff. I, I just don't follow it. Um, the big shows seem to have been on cable channels anyway. And now they've all moved into streaming. So I guess YouTube is coming into the, the living room, or at least that's the hope. Now, that has certain implications. If you happen to be, like I said, a, a person who creates content, or on, you know, often known as a content creator, then... There are certain things you have to look at television and what makes television unique. You know, every time you sit down, if I'm going to turn on the TV at a certain time of the day, on a certain day, then, you know, I know exactly what's going to be on. My show is going to come on on this day at this time. And you, you have to have that kind of consistency. Otherwise, you know, your network could be a total failure if nobody was able to. That's how you can sell advertising for certain programs, because, you know, I'm going to sit down and watch the show that's coming on at this time. And uh, that's what works. So I imagine, and you may have noticed this already in your own experience on YouTube, that consistency is very important, that regularness is very important. So if you are a person who uploads frequently, then uh, that's good, except that you need to make a schedule. You, you know, I know there's all these YouTubers quitting and they're saying, I hate the grind, I hate that sort of thing. But that, I'm afraid, is exactly what YouTube is going to be because they are trying to move into that, that television type of uh, area. So if you can produce high quality material, and, well, it doesn't have to be that high quality, but do keep in mind, yeah, despite the advice that I've given in the past about the camera and the microphone and the audio and that sort of thing. It might be time to start thinking about, uh, you know, having something that can produce the kind of uh, the level of quality, I guess, that they're looking for to match television. I would look to uh, whatever it is that they allow for filming on Netflix, that sort of thing, as a sort of a guide. I, I don't think it's going to be quite that strict, but definitely you're going to have to be able to, you know, have something come out 
on a regular schedule at, a, at the same time. I mean, down to the minute, it's got to be coming out at that time, every time. And if you can manage to do that, then you will may possibly, I, I don't know for sure, but I think that that's going to lead to some success uh, in, in your efforts. I can't say for sure because, you know, I've not followed that advice and maybe why my channel does so terribly. But uh, <laughs> be, be consistent and try to produce the best you can. And uh, maybe you will find success as they try to move into the living room and the television take over the television audiences uh, once and for all in their conquest of all things media. Um, yeah, and I would imagine that eventually YouTube will be kind of like the, the platform that everybody's on, right? Then if you want to watch one of the three ne networks, you won't turn on your TV and start tuning to those channels, although you could, but instead you might go to their YouTube channel and uh, watch them there. Maybe that's what they have in mind. Maybe even uh, in the area of cable, people are getting fed up with all of these streaming services. And it would be great if instead you could just get on YouTube and have everything in one place. Just like cable, except it's the internet. And you, you still, many people get it through cable. But yeah, that, that's, that's not necessarily a discouraging trend, but it is something that you need to be aware of if you are one of those content creators. I think that, again, that I'm one of those sometimes. There is, however, a very disturbing bit of news. I have heard, you, you've probably heard about this Gemini thing in the news. I mean, people, it, it really doesn't seem to like white people. Um, right now, my skin is blue and red. I'm hoping that it can fool Gemini into thinking that I'm, I'm not <laughs> of Scandinavian descent or something, you know. I'm not uh, one of the whitest kind of people there is in the world. Look at me. I'm, you know, blue and different colors and my shirt has yellow on it. And, you know, I'm not uh, not any of that. So I'm OK. But anyway, you know, people get on there and they've been like, uh, show me images of, you know, the founding fathers. And somehow it uh, produces very inaccurate uh, representations of actual historic figures and, um, yeah, it, it's uh, kind of bizarre. And apparently, here, here's, the, I mean, right now that's kind of laughable. You're like, oh, oh my gosh, how could they have gotten it so wrong? But uh, the scary part isn't that. The scary part is that they are planning to put that in charge of the search engine at, on Google as well as on YouTube. So, not good. Um, when I heard that, I think it was Elon Musk was tweeting that or something or retweeting something that, talked about that i'm like well there goes the internet i mean that's it uh, search results are garbage now uh, there's it's not like you're gonna go somewhere else i remember trying that you remember duck duck go it's like <laughs> we'll just go to duck duck go and then duck 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 go they kind of shot themselves and destroyed uh, any credibility that they had because they went woke and it doesn't matter anyway because as it turns out whether you're on bing or whether you're on whatever kind of search engine they're just pulling results from google anyway so it doesn't matter they control the internet google absolutely does have control over the internet everything on the internet is uh, google if, if they decide that they don't want you to go to a site they can blacklist it and you'll it doesn't matter what you do you will not get to that site now, I understand you can get on the dark web and there's probably somebody on the Onion browser or something and they're able to get to that site. But uh, for regular people, never going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of uh, if, well, if that Gemini thing is in charge, I, I don't think that anybody's going to be finding results. But, well, now I, I should be careful. Right now I am not of Scandinavian descent. You see, I'm blue and red and all these different colors. See, you thought it was because I goofed up the settings on the camera, but I'm actually, you know, I'm camouflaging myself as uh, something that can't even be categorized. I am something, I'm just all these different things. And not, uh, not of Scandinavian descent. I don't have any Vikings in my background. And that's the truth. Yeah, well, okay. Maybe not, you know, necessarily the truth, but as far as Gemini is concerned, I do not. I, there are no Normans in my background. There is none of that. I uh, am absolutely not categorizable. In fact, I may not exist at all. But uh, yeah. So get ready for that. That's going to be a bit of a... They say they're fixing it. They say that they are fixing it. 
I, I don't know what that means when it comes to Google. I just, I, I don't know <laughs> that they're going to be able to fix it. I think that uh, they, their problem, are, it, it's the people that are programming and training the thing. And now that it's trained in this way, what do you do? Like wipe all that out? So you spent all this time in uh, research and development and the crew that is on board, they completely handicapped your thing and made an embarrassment of the company, if that's possible to embarrass Google. And you now have the most ridiculous AI that can't even show you the historically accurate images of the Founding Fathers. Or, you know, yeah, anything, really. Is that the future? I guess. They can they can make anything. Imagine what's going to happen if somebody Googles, you know, anything, you know, you name it. Uh, some important historical figure, and it's going to come up with some weird, twisted version of it. Or tell you that that's offensive somehow. Try searching for Genghis Khan. Oh, no. No, I don't know, actually, if that would come up or not. But anyway, I thought that I would do that. And I'm also trying to be, you know, in with this whole frequency of uploading because apparently that's important now. Oh, did I move suddenly? What happened? What was that? Some kind of a time shift. It wasn't because I stopped recording to go help my son with something. That would never happen. All right. It, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, the, the, these things happen sometimes when you're making a, a little video like this. I'm starting to talk about the the whole thing of uh, recording on a regular basis and some things that Google has done to me as a channel here when suddenly my son dumps orange juice all over himself in the couch and I have to go and deal with that. I should have been, yeah, shouldn't have been recording this now, but I have to do it daily. And this is why. Because YouTube, all on their own, decided that my channel is supposed to be a daily channel. I am supposed to upload something every single day. If you look at my channel, it has its own sort of URL, and it's uh, at American Expat Daily. That's something YouTube came up with, and I can't shake it. They are determined that I must upload daily, and if I don't, and I have seen this because all those of you have been following the channel for a while, sometimes I end up traveling around the world, and uh, when I do... Well, it, it's kind of hard to upload on a regular basis, and that has killed the channel. Absolutely killed it. You know, it could be any conspiratorial reason that you can think of, which may or may not be true. I'm not knocking on any of those, but uh, that definitely did have an effect not uploading on a regular basis. If I do not upload daily, and I've watched this in the numbers, if I do not upload daily, then, uh, well, the, the channel just kind of tanks. So I have to do that. Otherwise, nobody ever watches any of the older stuff. And the numbers of people coming into the new stuff, well, it, it dwindles and dwindles. So that's what I got to do. With that in mind, I guess um, I'm going to do the best that I can to meet that requirement. Because, uh, well, I don't know if the, uh, the, the time is right to be starting a channel at this point. I mean, if I was starting a channel now... I don't think I would ever reach monetization. I don't know how I reach monetization as it is, but somehow I managed to, to meet that threshold. And despite all odds, YouTube agreed to put me into the partner program. And there I have been ever since. It hasn't had any growth really. Okay, I had a little bit of a burst of growth not too long ago. And it was because I tried an experiment. Don't ever do this, by the way. Uh, Google has this promotions thing where you can take a video and you can promote it and they have two options, you know, like you can promote it trying to find new subscribers or you can get views. And I knew it's pointless to get views on the video because you're not going to get paid for those. But I, and even though, you know, like if you're trying to grow your channel, the new subscribers don't count toward, you know, your goal of reaching monetization. So don't try it for that either. But in my case, I thought, well, I'm already in the partner program. If I expand my audience, then... That's, that can only be good, right? Because it means there's more people that are subscribed who are going to get notifications about new videos, and that will help my channel in the long run to make it, you know, maybe start to give more than a, a few dollars every month. And so I thought, well, I'll give that a try. Well, that's a bunch of baloney. Don't ever try that. I now have, uh, yeah, I found me subscribers who <laughs> never watch anything. I don't even know if they're real. You, you know, it's almost the same as if you went off, you like, you get on Facebook and you try and like post a video somewhere and this guy's on there like, hey, you know, you can talk to me and real subscribers, real views, which you know is not good. That's going to get you in trouble. 
It's almost as if YouTube and Google just uh, said, hey, that's a good idea. These guys are making money doing this. Let's do that too, except uh, because it's through us, it's legitimate. Well, that, that's a terrible route to go. The, the people that subscribed, even though it was a huge number of people, none of them actually come back to the channel. It's like they clicked on it and they disappeared into the ether. And now I see that they're all in like foreign, they're, they're all over the world in obscure countries here and there. And uh, yeah, if you are one of the people that, that found it through that me those means, I appreciate that you're here and I hope that you're actually watching. But uh, so far, all of your, your compatriots who came to the channel in that way, they, uh, they're, they're not coming back. So don't do that, by the way. And where was I going? Oh, yes. Uh, starting a channel now? Probably not a good idea. Not when their push is to get into the living room, because you are going to have one heck of a time. I mean, the standards of getting to that level, the, the, the level that you're going to have to be at for them to be able to push your content is going to be so high that somebody starting with just a smartphone. I mean, if you want to upload, you know, just for the heck of it, just for fun, if you, you just as a hobby want to make videos and sure but if you're thinking like i'm going to get started on here and make money i don't know that youtube has a plan necessarily for that um their their goal is to get into the living room onto the tv and that's going to require some pretty good quality stuff i would say yeah i'm not saying that mine meets any of that criteria but um well i'm already in the partner program and struggling and so I can't imagine it being any different than it is now. But uh, yeah, just, just my thoughts. I, I'll keep an eye. I'll, I'll just keep thinking about that to see if uh, if there's any possibility of that being different. And uh, we'll, we'll, I'll let you know because I, I can do that. And now I've been talking for far too long. There are airplanes flying overhead because I live too... Well, I don't really live that close to the airport, but there is this flight school and for some reason they just fly around and around this hill that i live on and yeah that that's kind of it. anyway I'm, I'm gonna get off of this and let you guys get back to your whole whatever time is left of the the, the day i guess i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> Bye.